Hi, everybody. I thought that it was worthy of a read and a post and a video for Why is the National Guard being deployed during the Great American Eclipse on April 8th? I hope that you circulate this information because I think something else is going on. For sure, the National Guard is only supposed to be deployed in emergency situations. These days, the National Guard is being used for all sorts of things. Hundreds of National Guard soldiers being used to check the bags of those riding the subway system in New York City. Sets a very alarming precedent, and I don't understand why more people aren't upset about this. By the way, this is Michael Schneider's article. So, when I read I, I am speaking for Michael Schneider. So now we have learned the National Guard troops will be deployed during the Great American Eclipse on April 8th. What in the world do we, or do they, expect to happen during this eclipse? Without a doubt, it will certainly be a historic event. As I have discussed previously, it is being projected that it will be the most viewed astronomical event in the entire history of of our country. April 8th, millions of Americans will be traveling to locations where they will be in the path of the total sol solar eclipse. Oklahoma is being touted as one of the best states for that, and it is being reported that the Oklahoma National Guard will provide first responders as well as units with hazmat response capabilities. Oklahoma's National Guard is set to be deployed for the upcoming total solar eclipse when as many as 100,000 people are expected to visit one county, which is McCurtain County in the southeast of the state. The Guard will provide first responders as well as units with hazmat response capabilities in case of an incident like an industrial fire, they feel the need to be prepared. But bringing the National Guard is overkill, don't you think? Residents of Oklahoma are being urged to stock up on gas and groceries prior to the eclipse. And they are also being instructed to have multiple forms of communication besides cellular. To prepare for the eclipse, the state laid out some tips to plan ahead. Oklahomans should schedule errands and appointments a few days in advance before the eclipse, as well as stock up on gas and groceries. The state also recommends having multiple forms of communication besides cellular, being careful on the road, and staying updated on weather conditions. Seriously? They want people to do all this for an eclipse that is only going to last for a few minutes? What else is going on? Could this be a test and they are manufacturing an eclipse with electromagnetic frequencies? That's my thought. Oklahoma is not the only state that is issuing such warnings. Uh, map uh, uh, Newsweek has a map showing where warnings for people to stock up on food ahead of solar eclipse are, let's see, map, 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 all of Texas, Oklahoma, and Ohio, Indiana, okie dokie. Stock up, you guys. Wow, we've got so much going on in the world. At least four states within the path of totali to totality <laughs> have urged residents to stock up on groceries before the eclipse. Some officials have already issued disaster declarations ahead of the event, and some schools have decided to close citing student safety. Texas officials 
have issued a slew of warnings, including that people living within the path of totality should stock up on groceries and gas and run any errands such as filling prescriptions in the days before the eclipse. One official also urged pet owners to stock up on supplies for their animals. The areas that are in the direct path of the total eclipse are anticipating large numbers of visitors, but it feels like authorities are really going overboard. Just look at what officials in Hayes County, Texas, are telling their residents to do. Parking issues, lack of parking, fees for parking, having to park and walk to your destination, please park only in designated areas and not on private property or in areas that cause safety issues, traffic delays, road closures, longer wait times for restaurants. Consider cooking at home instead of bringing a small cooler with ready to eat food. Okay, more congestion, pedestrians, vehicles, delayed emergency 911 response, cell service interruptions, lack of service, higher than normal stress levels and or heated tempers, credit card machines not working, bring cash. This sounds like an EMP instead of an eclipse, don't you think? That's me speaking, not Michael Schneider. So getting back to Michael, why would credit card machines not work? And why would phone service be interrupted? I don't understand. In Arkansas, they actually held a live training exercise that simulated emergencies that might happen during the eclipse. With less than a month remaining before the Great American Solar Eclipse, the Arkansas Division of Emergency Management, EDIM, took a significant step by conducting a live training exercise. This exercise was designed to test EDIM's response to issues that may arise as visitors flock to Arkansas to witness the event. ADEM responders and other state agencies looked at possible scenarios such as severe weather, traffic, medical emergencies, and communication challenges. Taking part in the exercise were county emergency managers and representatives of the National Weather Service Arkansas National Guard, Corps of Engineers, Arkansas Hospital Association, Arkansas Wireless Information Network, Arkansas Departments of Health, Transportation, Energy, and Environment and Human Services. So Michael's not expecting a major disaster or emergency on the day of the eclipse because that's not what eclipses bring about. But if they're trying to simulate an eclipse, with the use of electromagnetic frequencies, well, it could for sure create everything that I've just read. Uh, hot temperatures or hot tempers and stress and phones going out. All of the rest. Certainly inevitable that there will be a lot more surprises as this year rolls along. Uh, Ron Paul gave an interview just recently and said, I think we're reaching this point where some sudden thing is going to happen. I believe in that theory of the black swan. Yes, it's going to pop up and it's not going to be controllable. That's what Ron Paul just recently said. Um, whether there's going to be a black swan event on April 8th or not, nobody knows. But apparently this eclipse is a very big deal. The giant X over America that the great American eclipse of 2017 started will be completed by the great American eclipse of 2024. And as the great American eclipse of 2024 moves across our nation, the sun, the moon, and other seven planets in our solar system will all be lined up in the sky. Our entire solar system is literally screaming that this day is important. And you would think that more people would be talking about the giant X that is about to be completed directly over the new Madrid fault 
zone. I will link below to this article. I will also link below to the National Eclipse blog, X marks the spot. Two total solar eclipses in seven years over the New Madrid. This was 2017. This is 2024. And wow, it's big. All right, so be prepared for anything. Be prepared for anything happening any day. There was also talk about a biological attack on April 8th and these crowds that are going to be uh, manifesting to see this great eclipse. All right. April 8th, April 7th, and the 6th, and the 5th, and every day. Be prepared. We're living in a pretty unprecedented but wild world. Be safe, everybody.